Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with The Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2 Episode number 8 Reaction. Alright, the previous episode we came into a different world. Technically not a different world but it was like a little um, alternate dimension um, where we meet the hunting hero Kizuna. She is has been trapped in this like you know dimension like isolated dimension for a long time, and uh, she's also one of the um, people who have been isekai'd you know from a different version of Japan. Now, <clears throat> the thing that happened after getting into this isolated dimension is Naofumi and everyone lost their levels. You know, Raftal is a baby raccoon again, <laughs> and um, uh, what's his her name? Um, Risha. Risha is also level 1. Everyone's level 1. The shield has gone completely like you know like gone to the basic level 1 shield and uh, you know like they were like fighting and putting in like you know the different uh, creatures that were in, in this world and uh, Kizuna comes in and helps us while we were fighting a cup and we were almost getting defeated. So like it's interesting about the whole like you know like the, the story about Kizuna was quite interesting because as she said like you know she has been uh like you know transported here and uh, like you know like we don't know why she's here who put her there all these questions are still there and uh, but one thing is for sure that she doesn't know anything about the waves which means maybe she didn't have any idea about them which is also kind of weird in my opinion because she knows glass and uh, lark you know they're like her friends so if she knows them why doesn't she not know about the waves i'm sure i'll get my answer and um, yeah a lot of things happened now for me it was uh, like, you know, stuck here for, for a moment but now for me brings out like a plan you know like there was like a little glitch that was going on in this uh, dimension which uh, now for me exploited using the seed which uh, you know using the seed which where there's like a huge plant that grow and completely destroyed the room so that they can get out of that place you know like just made uh, like you know exploited a bug in the <laughs> in the in the in the dimension and that's how they were able to get out so now we are in the actual other world and uh, yeah let's see what happens after that oh and another thing Philo's missing i'm guessing she was transported here she was not transported in the dimension i guess hopefully but we'll have to see what happens so anyways without further ado let's get started this is episode number eight of the rising of the shield hero season two i'll be putting the subtitles on the time right here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go all right Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, nothing you can do about it. Hmm, and they're level one now, so not level one, but level nine. Okay. He's not level 109. Hmm. Oh. Oh my god. Something's happening. <laughs> School. Oh, that's the place I summoned her. Weak on food. Oh no. Yeah. Return. Oh. Hmm. Mikak. Oh. Oh no. Oh, okay. Wait, the Arglas, you can use them to teleport? What? Oh. This is a very handy 
thing to teleport you know using okay okay but can nothing also use it two or three days hmm okay Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> oh. Well, it sucks, you know. Like you, you used your like almost like so much of your time to level up, and suddenly you get transported to another world where your level is one. Like. <laughs> ah. I'm wondering like if Philo's also probably level oh my god I'm kind of getting concerned now like if Philo also drops in level she'll probably become a little Philolial so the thing that's concerning is she has been transported somewhere else probably in this world and she's all alone Parting in the snow. Asian look. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hmm. Oh wow. Wait, are these elves? Wow. Elves. <laughs> yeah. Jewel people. Oh, like um Teresa, yeah. Okay, interesting. So they are called jewel people. Ghost? Oh, glass is spirit person. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. They don't have levels? What? That's crazy. Oh wow. Hmm. Naturalists, okay. Okay, so there's advantages and disadvantages. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, what happened? Hopefully, don't jinx it. Ah. Oh my god, she's again hungry. <laughs> oh. Oh no. oh yeah, okay, yeah. She found a lot in, in, in that uh, dimension. Oh really? Oh. Oh. Take some quest or something. 
Oh, yes, you can craft stuff. No, wait. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, 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 true. <laughs> okay, so, and he can reproduce it, I'm guessing? Or... <laughs> oh, boy. Still aging? What's she doing? Oh, she even wants that, want to eat that. Ah! <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, come on. If one person drinks it, they'll be able to, they'll be able to understand. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yep, there you go. Now they're going to get popular. <laughs> We're going to be swimming in money now. There you go. Oh my god, I feel like they're pissed. Yo, it's too effective. <laughs> wow, what is that? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, they're heroes. If they are in the same place together, it won't work. Oh. Hmm. We did. Oh, wow. Okay, that's um, that's handy. Weapon XP. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> oh my God! They're auctioning it. Okay. Like, like such biggest business practice. They first, they normally sold it. Now they're auctioning it. Oh. What? Wait, what happened? Is this a part of a play or something? Oh. Oh my god, what is this? Nafumi, you are... <laughs> Nafumi, my god, this guy... <laughs> and I love the fact that they're wearing masks so that their identity doesn't go out. It'll be a problem. Oh wow. Wow, this looks really good. Hmm. Maybe nothing can fix it? I don't know. <laughs> Ninja girl. Um okay, Raptalia. Wow, <laughs> now <Nah>, way too. 
<laughs> he's like, oh, it's me. Oh, wow. It's gold, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. Ah, uh, oh my god. Yeah, what's... Way to use an... Oh my god. Is this... Is this skill? Is this skill? Yeah, it's cool. Oh lord. Um. Wait, who? Who is this? Not Kyo. Yeah. No. Kazuki. Mass adoption. Oh my god, I feel like I'm going to not like this guy. Yeah, I feel like I'm not going to like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> you're not 18, you're way older than that. But I guess, you know. Playing. <laughs> <laughs> She's also a kid now, you know? <laughs> Damn, it's like a soul <laughs> So... <laughs> yeah. I can whack him with the shield, you know? <laughs> yeah. Six days. Yeah, we're forgetting our feet away, is she? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, true. Hmm. Mm, yeah, and as um, Kizuna was saying, she cannot, <laughs> she cannot hurt humans. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay. That answers my question. It's awful empty this place. No guards? Oh my god, what the hell a wall? Oh lord. Okay. Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> oh 
like oh my god oh yeah she can she can make them <laughs> yeah what why are you telling that oh my god are okay using the environment good job Uh. Okay. Oh boy. How many walls are there in this? <clears throat> like thankfully oh nice thankfully <laughs> oh no oh my god who is this I oh great another another annoying character I think oh wow Business partner, same thing. Once yeah. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, we don't care. Come on, not for me. Use a shield. Yes, that's what's surprising you. You didn't know this was going to happen. <laughs> All right. Wow, this guy is trash. He can't even fight properly. Or is he like taken aback? That's why he didn't get enough time to. Like now from his level eight, so. Oh no, something's happening. Oh no. Ugh, I cannot. This guy is so annoying. Is there any way we can get out? Like, why is. Yeah, Raftali. Oh my god. But why? Oh yeah, that's why Philo's not here. Oh my god, what the hell is ha What do we do now? Can the rat shield help in some way? Oh my god. Oh no.
Wow. What? This is where you end it? Oh my god. What? Oh, wow, this show loves to infuriate us as, like, you know, as audiences, like... <laughs> two annoying piece of crap in the same place. Kyo and this guy, like... As soon as I saw his face and his character design, I was like, yeah, he's going to be one of those. And there you go. Like, how, like... I'm, I'm surprised at how can a show make so many annoying characters? Like season one was enough with the three heroes, and now it's like you know this, this Kyo and this I don't know whatever what's his name, so this guy. Like I'm, <laughs> like these people are worst. At least, at least Motoyasu was stupid, you know. Like his, he was annoying because he was stupid. Um, Ren was annoying because of his not as annoying as the other heroes, but still he was annoying. And Iski was annoying because of his narcissistic, I don't know, whatever, like, you know, I'm the, I'm the hero complex type of situation. These people are worse. Like, why? Oh my god. Uh. Yeah, great. Like... I'm, I'm, I, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, now what, what do we do now? You know, like, oh God. Like, oh. I don't know how this, actually how much strong they are because, you know, like, um, Kyo is pretty strong, we saw that. Unfortunately, it will be a problem to deal with him, but this guy, this, whatever his name was, blue haired guy. He, now one thing, at first I thought he was a hero, a cardinal hero, you know, the blue haired guy. Maybe not, you know, maybe, maybe he's not a cardinal hero. Maybe that's my mistake. Uh, because he seems pretty weak, you know, like cardinal heroes are way overpowered than normal soldiers and everything. So maybe because of that, I don't know. Like, I'm, I, I will have to wait because we, we barely got to see him in this episode and we don't know how much strong he is from the little scene that we get to solve with him. He was taken aback by the whole situation. Maybe that's why she wasn't, he wasn't able to show his power. But from this episode, they, he seems pretty weak. Not only him, but all the other soldiers and everything. You know, they were pretty weak. Like, Raftali and Afumi, they're like level 8. So, that's why I guess, I don't know. Like, we'll have to see how this goes. Like, this guy looks like some kind of a... I don't know how much of a soldier he is, or a, like a fighter he is. But, yeah, maybe maybe we didn't get... Like, since there was not enough screen time for him in this episode, maybe that's why we didn't barely got to say anything for about him. And uh, probably he is as strong as... The others you know but okay like i i just thought like finally we are out of that whole labyrinth thing that whole dimension and oh finally we're going to have like a nice time in a different world maybe we're going to meet so many different things see, see so many different places like it'll be like a new adventure this is how it starts i'm already curious God, like, like at least one person, if uh, at least one person was with Raftalia, I would have been like, all right, at least there's like, she has someone to rely on. No, she's all alone now. Like, what, what would she even do? She's, how, how much level, I think she's level nine or something. No, wait a minute. Uh, can't even read. Oh, Nafumi is level nine. Oh, uh, both of, uh, both Rishia and, um, I think Rishia or Raftali is like level 20 or something. Yeah, 20, level 20. Uh, level 20 is still, it's not enough, you know. Like, uh, at least a level 100, like just like how Izuna is level 100. So, now one thing is kind of weird, I don't understand. Why did Raftalia's teleportation thing suddenly just stop? 
you know, why didn't she rap? You know, alongside now for me, like that's that's a weird thing I don't understand. Anyways, all right, we begin this episode with now for me, Raftalia, uh, Kizuna, and uh, uh, Rishia. All of them in the new world, they're just moving, and now for me, it's talking about Philo trying to find where Philo is. Um, Philo is. It's weird because like you know they were showing us the level. Oh no. I just realized. Like there was like a part of me thinking maybe Philo's level did not get reset. No. Philo's level one. I can I see it now. You know, like when he, he was trying to find out using that thing. It's written Philo level one. Like HP is one twenty, MP is like fifty two or something. Yeah. Oh god. That's a problem. Because you know what I I actually thought maybe Philo's going to come and help her out if she her like you know like if her um uh, level was not resetted maybe Philo was here somewhere and you know like since we got teleported out Raptelli was here all alone maybe Philo's going to come somehow and going to like you know, assist her I thought that's how it was going to go no ah uh, boy well all right so. Okay, the whole thing here was we were going towards the, uh, the the capital, the place, you know, like, but to go there, we need like so many days worth walking, we need to walk and go. So what the plan was, is to go to the nearest uh, kingdom, you know, and um, the kingdom where uh, Kizuna is, you know, is one. What did they say? Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, the kingdom where she, she the people of the kingdom uh, put her in that place, that kingdom. So it in itself was a little big problem that we have to go there to ask for help, not ask for help, to, but to teleport. But nothing we can do about it because we don't have any modes of transportation, nothing. You know, like we, we either have to walk or do this. So yeah. Like obviously we cannot walk, we can't walk for like one or two months, it's impossible. So, <clears throat> Kizuna was like, okay, if you go to the uh, Dragon Hourglass, we can teleport from there. Now, it's an interesting thing because as Naofumi said, this thing doesn't exist in their world. But you know what? I don't know because you remember in season one there was like that whole section where Naofumi realized we can do so many things with the shield which he he didn't even know but the other heroes do you know like for example auto uh, like you know making equipment auto forging equipment that thing you know all these like you know weird like little uh, tips tips and tricks he got to know and uh, like you know like since the heroes were not sharing information none of them knew what the other knew so they got to know so many different things maybe this is also one of them you know like maybe up until now nobody knew that you can actually teleport using the dragon uh, hourglass maybe if they go back to their world now and now for me tries to do it maybe they can do it you know like yeah that that might be the case because you know like as um uh, Kizuna said that only the heroes can do this and the people who are like in the in their party so maybe since none of the heroes knew about it, nobody knew, and even in their world, now from his world, the Arglas have this this type of a uh, extra like you know like a thing where they can use it to teleport. Maybe they just don't know about it. I don't know. Who? That might be a case. But either way, you know, like it's it's handy that we can use the Arglas to teleport to um, Kizuna's uh, country. And uh, yeah, that was the first goal. Now we go to this city and it's interesting to see so many people here of different, um, you know, like a different uh, class or not class, sorry, different races. For example, there's like an elf type of people you know, with, with elf ears. And uh, there's that jewel people who is like, you know, uh, Therese, Therese's uh, race. Now, interesting thing, I even I did not know Therese was not a human. Like she is a human, but she's part of the jewel, jewel uh, humans race. So that's interesting. Spirits. I didn't even know that glass was part of the spirit people. And uh, so, so many things we got to know here. And like I've been hearing that this, uh, you know, this season has been skipping stuff. 
which is kind of a shame because I don't know why they're skipping. It's like a weird thing. Like season one was done so good, but I don't know. I have no clue. Uh, maybe if you know these information and everything that they told, maybe they skipped stuff here as well. Like I won't be able to know because I don't read the manga, neither do I read the light novel. So let me know if there's stuff like you know which was skipped and if there's something that I need to know here. And that they skipped completely or something. Anyways, um, so uh, the spirit people, uh, which is glasses, and there's a, quite a few interesting things that we got to know about a glass from this. That is, she doesn't have levels. Number one. Um, another thing is she um, like there's a lot of advantages and also a lot of disadvantages for this. You know, like like her power is. Uh, gorged through the amount of mana or whatever spirit power she has and there's no level like you know thing um what else that's why she isn't hurt by normal like you know uh normal attacks but at the same time it's also disadvantages because healing magic and items don't work on her like there's quite a few interesting things like you know that we got to know from her uh from here and uh, like as now from we recalled from season one, Lark gave her a potion, which did work, you know. And now from we had one of them. So now from it's like since normal potions don't work on spirit people, maybe we can use this potion to earn some money. And uh, yeah, that was their goal to earn some money and you know, uh, yeah, get ready for their big journey or. Okay, so <clears throat> all right. Now they also get to know about the currency of this place, and Anafumi recalls how this is so similar uh, to Japanese currency. And Kizuna was also like, "Oh yeah, you're right." And you know the old currency of Japan, and uh, that's why he was able to realize how much money he has <laughs> and how much he needs for this journey. And uh, so, and they like, you know, they go, go to the diner, they eat and everything. Now, Raftalia, as always, is getting a bit extra hungry because she's still in the growing stage. <laughs> God. <laughs> now, the next day, they start their business. And oh boy, oh boy, Nafumi is, <laughs> Nafumi is one of those businessmen, you know? Like, I, I, I can't even blame him. Like, he just, <laughs> like, like, Season one, you know, in, in that place in, in, in Nafumi's world, you know, it completely just changed her personality. Like he's he's now just like this type of a <laughs> like what can I say? Corrupt. Not corrupt, but something along those lines. That type of a businessman where he you know uses these tips and like these tricks to actually make other people more interested. Like <laughs> the whole business practice was Fantastic, it was genius. What he did first was he just went there, sat down. He's wearing masks, obviously, so that people don't realize who they are. And he just sits down and he's like, Oh, we're selling these things, you know. And to, like, you know, the, the thing here was Nafu's main goal here was to at least make one person, one spirit person, use the product. You know, if they use it, they'll know what it is. So that was the initial goal. And how to do that? Like, and obviously, like a random a person wearing masks just sitting down and trying to sell you something you wouldn't buy it obviously you won't so like one option was to use like you know the whole free sample strategy you know like where you give people free samples and they have that and you know they're like oh this is amazing and then they buy more that type of a thing but what Nafumi did here was to attract attention she <laughs> used Raftalia <laughs> oh my god uh. As the I think you call them poster girl or Kamba Musme, something like that, and uh, <laughs> used her as that. And a few people came, got interested, came here, and now for me, just put a little bit on the spirit people. And there you go, one person was all that was needed. It was effective, and since this is one thing that spirit people don't like, you know, no potions work on them, this is like a completely new thing for them. And they're like, Oh my god, I need this, I want to buy this. And everyone comes like you know just like just crowds the whole place and starts buying the stuff it's not over you know this is the first part of the business plan the business strategy 
<laughs> the first day what they did was sold the um, things normally you know like normal uh, shopkeepers do it has a fixed price you know it sells them off and there you go now what nafumi does is like in the end when it's all sold out people are like oh my god it's not no no more left he announces that he's going to hold an auction <laughs> oh boy <laughs> And this is where everything gets more like you know interesting. <laughs> okay, I'll talk about the auction later. After that, what happens is uh, <laughs> and Kizuna talks about um, not Kizuna, sorry, Nafumi talks about how uh, where is that part? Oh, how different things from different world might have a different result or effect on people from other world. So Nafumi is like, you give something from you, I'll give something from mine, and. Uh, Kizuna gives him like an earth crystal or something. He takes it, uses it, it gives him like 3000 XP. And like, it would have been so good if Kizuna had multiple, uh, you know, like those crystals. Like, Nafumi could have easily raised his level a bit, quite a bit, you know, from using that. I'm sure, like, you know, after some time, it will, you know, as levels go gain, uh, go up, the amount of XP point you need to level up get increases. That would be a problem eventually, but still, like at least now for me, could I guess level up from level nine from to at least level twenty, he could go by using those crystals. But I'm I'm guessing in, uh, uh, Kizuna probably did not have much. It was probably one or two which he gave now for me. And now for me also gave um what did he give to Kizuna? <coughs> magic water. <coughs> Just a sec. Yeah, magic water. He gives her magic water. She drinks it and she sees that her weapon gets XP point. So it's interesting, you know, like her, like, you know, the, how the products dif differ from one person to another uh, since they're from different world, worlds. Now, one thing we can see here is, uh, like, we, we've seen this, in, especially in the end, we kind of get to see how Raptalia feels like she was not, uh, you know, like helping Nafumi out. You know, like we remember in season one, she said, like, I'm your sword. And she wasn't able to do it properly and we can see that coming out little by little and she's kind of feeling frustrated as to she cannot do anything because you know her level dropped but yeah but uh, like nothing you can do about this situation you know like everyone's levels dropped so like it's out of your hands it's not raftaria's fault obviously but still anyways um, all right, the next part, the interesting part of the business from the next day, what <laughs> Nafumi does is he's like, all right, let's start the auction. The auction starts now. Uh, oh my God. Like imagine, <laughs> imagine selling something from like, this is completely like, since obviously since Nafumi has monopoly on this thing, at least for now, the spirit, like, you know, the, like the, 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 the thing that he was selling, you know, since he has monopoly on it. He can do whatever the hell he wants to with it and people are still going to buy it and that's why you know like in, in these type of situations it's it's good to have competition because that's why like you know the people who are selling stuff they cannot do something this crazy if someone has monopoly on something oh boy oh boy you're in for a treat you know <laughs> they can do the whatever the hell they want to with that and you you can't even do, do anything you will have to buy it if it's part of your life you know so there you go now from uses that strategy just brilliantly he's like the first day he just sold them for a fixed price now they're he's auctioning it like wow <laughs> so and not only that he just stop at that at first the whole auction kind of goes you know like and there's like one person who's like oh how much 30 or something he said like i'll pay that much and everyone's like okay like you know like i we won't go further than that you know no one auctioned more than him and uh, that was the price you know no one auctioned because they realized that oh this guy he'll get one of it he'll leave and there's multiple more left still left multiple more portions left like five or ten more left so i'll try for the next one that's what they thought that's why they stopped oh my god what nafumi does is take this even more further and <laughs> just <laughs> trips rishia the whole thing breaks everything breaks and there's like one potion thing which was still left probably now from kept it safe and he's like oh this, this is so sad look at this only one of it is left 
and all the people who did not like you know raise the bid because they thought they're going to get the next one <laughs> they definitely ra 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 rose the bid after that <laughs> and he probably gained a lot more money but i don't know i feel like this this whole business practice was a little bit you know like the first thing the auction thing was okay i guess you know that definitely was going to bring more money but i don't know like you know like dropping all those um like you know potions and wasting all of them just to sell one with extra money i feel like that's a little bit bad of a bad decision does isn't it like he could have easily sold all the potions and the last one he could have done the same for it you know like he would have said something like oh this is the last one you know like this uh so yeah everyone would have paid a lot more for it and the same effect would have happened he didn't he, he wouldn't even have to like break so many potions and waste them but who knows maybe i don't know like maybe this is now for me we're talking about i'm i'm guessing all those uh, potion bottles that broke maybe they were empty or something you know like i doubt he wasted potions just so that he could gain more money from in, in that process i don't know but either way <laughs> that was evil now for me and i don't blame him you know <laughs> uh now for this world just <laughs> made him like this you know he's he's just <laughs> he's vicious now especially in these type of things anyways we got money everything's fine we're going to go to our journey so <clears throat> it's getting cold and it's snowing and uh, now for me and the crew go to the the our like you know the dragon hourglass place there's a lot of people standing there just crowding the whole place and at first even i thought like when they were talking about some genius mage did something we thought it was kyo it was not kyo but at the same time it was kyo because kyo was there so a guy comes out with two bodyguards i'm guessing what the hell is his name um let's see kazuki kazuki hmm okay now i'll be honest at first i thought this is a hero a cardinal hero maybe not i i have no idea but as soon as i saw his mug i was sure of it that this guy is going to be annoying as well he's going to be a lot more annoying than the heroes than the three cardinal heroes <laughs> so yeah like I cannot really like why like you know like I, I do all these characters just like how many characters like this exist in this anime like I'm I'm really curious you know like how <laughs> how many annoying characters like this exist like I feel like these show just loves just loves to torment you by putting in characters who are just so annoying that you completely lose your mind season one was like season one showed us how much they can like you know just <laughs> make us angry and in the end of season one i was like all right finally maybe we'll be able to come to an us understanding the the three cardinal heroes they are fools but i guess they could be redeemed you know and you know like by the end of it i'm like all right fine you know yeah i can tolerate them Oh boy, season 2 starts and we get two more new characters who are going to probably torment us for the rest of this season. Kyo and this... What was his name? I forgot. Kazuki, I think. Yeah, this Kazuki guy. And as always, you know, like, any person who have that type of a facial structure, you know, like, the, <laughs> like look at Kazuki and, you know, be sure to remember. Any type of character who has that type of a facial structure, who looks like that, you know, is going... <laughs> That person is going to be definitely annoying. And there you go. He is another one of those narcissistic piece of craps. So, yeah. <laughs> I cannot really. So, all right. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so they, then they go back to their uh, inn to rest and um, for a moment like and all of them try to kind of starts playing like with snowball and <laughs> we can see raftali is so happy you know because she's like a child again so 
and not only child like i feel like anyone would be happy to kind of see snow you know like or something i don't know i guess it depends like, at least i would be happy <laughs> you know playing with snow and everything anyways um so they go to the inn and here they start hatching a plan what to do now <clears throat> What they come up with is that they are going to go and uh, you know like to this uh, to the to the hourglass tonight when there wouldn't be any guards or the guards would be lesser because it's night you know now you know what i'll be honest i really did not expect kyo to be actually anticipating this and waiting for them with a trap like i knew something was probably going to go wrong because they're going in the middle of the night someplace like I, this this is like you know like in my head it was either 50 50 either it's going to go everything properly or something's going to go wrong but i did not expect kyo to be waiting there and that's one thing that was i was not expecting at least because you know like kyo transported them to this this place this dimension and uh, i thought like I thought that would be it, you know, like he, he wouldn't think of anything else. But not only that, he even made preparations for what if they come out. Like this guy, this skill, like one thing, you know what, I'll have to respect one thing about him, even though he's an annoying piece of crap. Um, one thing I'll have to respect about him is he's prepared, you know. <laughs> he's just prepared, you know, even, even in the previous episode, the, the whole spirit tortoise arc we saw. He was just prepared for everything. He knew that this could happen from this, this could happen, this could happen, this could happen. So if this fails, I'm going to do this. If this fails, I'm going to do this. If this fails, I'm going to do this. And if this fails, I'm just going to run away. That was his whole plan. And that's what he did. Again, here, he's prepared. He's prepared. He, he put them in, in that dimension. He, like, you know, like, and, and he's prepared. If they come out, what's going to happen? And there you go. We just fell into that trap like that so they go into that that uh, that place you know like go to the the dragon hourglass try to go there but it's all walled off it was a trap everyone's here trying to get them but thankfully these people were not that strong because they were just merely foot soldiers um even raftalia could actually just like you know just fight them and just you know like push through them and uh, like one thing i was thinking up until now where it really didn't come to my mind that you could use the environment up until now i was like oh uh, like you know like kizuna couldn't do anything against humans you know like he wouldn't be able to help us out in this way i forgot completely that you could actually use the environment like you know like he she cannot harm humans but she can destroy a building or do something like that so that's why she just used the roof to like you know just fall upon them and that's how she you know gained more time and that's where they decide to split off you know and try to find out the hourglass and finally you know we were able to find the hourglass we get in and kazuki i think that was his name yeah i think so <laughs> forgive me if i'm wrong <laughs> kazuki is just waiting there with the two bodyguards and all the like you know army people and oh boy oh boy here we go he he starts annoying us he's like ah well done well done you know like you told me to stay here and um, here you go you fell into my trap and he talks about how pissed off kyo is like yeah like kyo is pissed off you know what you know the funny thing what is we should be more pissed off because he's the person who came to our world and started like you know doing stuff so yeah like this you know this self-entitlement is the one that pisses me off about what pisses me off so much about these characters and not only these characters like all the characters here have like a certain like you know, amount of self-entitlement like just it's crazy how they think that they, they they deserve everything you know like in season one it was those three heroes and uh, what was her name mine or melty whatever <laughs> you know those characters oh the king the king as well i forgot about the king i forgot about trash you know so those characters they had like this amount of self entitlement which made them think that they're like the i don't know like something they deserve something 
like like here again in this season these two these two have this amount of self entitlement it pisses me off you know like what the hell ah oh. like <laughs> that line pissed me off so much where he said like oh kyo is so angry you know like ah like uh, like like what okay like yeah and as soon as he said that i knew i was not going to like him this guy is another annoying annoying person now i don't know what like you know what type of a character he will be you know but i don't think i like him at least now from what we've seen of him i don't know but you know anime sometimes does these crazy stuff where a very dislikable character actually becomes likable by the end of it i don't know if that's going to happen to him but for now no it's not happening i don't like him and uh, like he starts trash talking you know like <laughs> oh god <laughs> and <laughs> raftali and they they can just Nafung uses that shield thing and Raftari like all of them just break up the whole thing and just go in go near the hourglass and he he's like oh surprise Pikachu face he's, he's trash talking up until now and when they just <laughs> you know shoved them off and went towards the um, dragon hourglass like surprise Pikachu face it's like what this wasn't supposed to happen <laughs> I guess they underestimated them so much because their level was low you know that's why now the touch the hourglass you know like uh, um, Kizuna touches the hourglass it starts glowing everyone starts glowing this is the part that really confuses me what the hell happened here R Raftalia was glowing I saw that and okay let me just wait they were all looking at each other you know like very nice scene everyone's going to go to um um, um Kizuna's world yeah uh, not world sorry kingdom suddenly Raftalia's glowing stops okay what happened here and then suddenly Kyo starts like you know laughing like a complete <laughs> uh, so he, he says, I've been waiting for this moment, this awesome, awesome moment. And they're like, he's gonna call off the rap if he cannot do that. Why do you think I sent you to the infinite labyrinth? Okay, why do you think I let you keep the raccoon demi human? Why? Okay, this doesn't answer my question. Like, I was, I was trying to find out if there's like an explanation as to why Raftalia's glowing suddenly stopped. They don't answer that. Basically, this guy, this Kyo, he basically did this just to annoy an alpha me. That's why. Like, imagine. Like, wow. Like, what? <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. And uh, he's like, oh, why are we going to experiment on the raccoon girl? And I don't know where Philo is. Hopefully, he, she's not with her him. Like, I don't know, like, I'm getting weird, like, you know, like, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm feeling like she's probably somewhere in a cage or something, like, this guy, you know, he probably just imprisoned uh, Philo somewhere, that's why Philo was not with us, ah, oh, that'll be, oh yeah, that'll be really bad, but either way, you know, like, he just did this to annoy now for me and make him, you know, mi more miserable, that's why he did this, like, good job, Kyo, now, one thing I'm thinking, like, can't they just come back? Like, you know, like, the person who can rap is, um, uh, Kizuna. So, they're going from this place to the other place, you know, like Kizuna's kingdom. As soon as they get there, can they just teleport back again? Like, can't can they do that? So that, you know, like, they can get Raftalia back again? Like, I guess that's, like, that's how it typically works in video games, you know, like, you, 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 you know, like a waypoint or like a teleporter or whatever you call them, you know, you teleport from one place to another, one part of the map to another, and you suddenly realize, oh my god, I forgot, like, you know, to do something in that place, and you just teleport back again, like, it, it takes how many times, you know, like, a few, a few minutes, not even a few minutes, a few seconds, it takes, so, I'm guessing there must be some kind of a mechanism here, 
maybe it's not that simple you know like maybe what i'm thinking here is like oh it won't take much time to teleport like it's like a matter of seconds maybe not maybe it actually takes like one or two hours for the teleportation to happen or maybe there's like a cooldown time for once the teleportation happens they cannot use it for i don't know like two or three days or something that might be the case here okay you know what maybe they did they tell that to us like when they're talking about the teleportation in this episode like i don't know did i just miss it or something okay there's some differences um we call it return dragon vein and the cardinal heroes and the vassal weapon heroes are the only ones who can use it okay so we get to the hourglass and use your power to wrap us that's that we can't be followed no they don't tell us anything like i don't understand can they just come back again as i said maybe there is some kind of a condition that you know like there's like a cool down time or something anyways um yeah and in the end rafta is like finally i'm i was able to be of some help to you and as always kyo is just being a little prick just laughing like an idiot and that's how and that's where they end like abruptly i'm like what why why does it end so abruptly like in the end he is like i'm dying i'm dying of laughter and now from is like raftalia and the teleport and it ends that's where it ends like wow like you know what my guess is my guess is the rafta will probably need philo somehow like but i guess philo's level is 1 still i guess it will help out in some way because you know the ending song shows rafta and philo together so <laughs> that's the basis of my prediction you know like the ending song shows them together so i'm guessing <laughs> they're going to meet and probably help each other out or something and like that i don't know but yeah wow another annoying character joins the crew great like i <laughs> i i am tired of this you know like why 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 are there so many annoying characters in this show like <laughs> but you know what i guess if they give us like you know in the end like you know like a, 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 an episode of pure like you know payback i'll be happy you know like i i remember that infamous episode of season 1 <laughs> the whole episode where everyone gets paid back hundredfold at what they like you know did to nafumi like mine was almost going to get killed but you know we know what happened so if there's like an episode like that which gives us worth you know all the like you know frustrations worth of a payback i'll be happy but let's see Anyways that's it thanks for watching this is my reaction to the rising of the shield hero season 2 episode number 8 if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out so that's it thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of the rising of the shield hero until then goodbye and have a nice day